Hey guys, when you hear the word macrame, you might think of shag rugs and disco balls, but we're bringing it back in a super modern way with a neon color palette and two simple knots. Here's what you'll need. 20 feet of nylon cord, four feet of nylon cord in a coordinating color, a small embroidery hoop, measuring tape, scissors, and a small vase or planter. Macrame may look complicated, but you're just two simple knots away from making a really cute hanging plant holder to dress up just about any room in your house. Let's go ahead and get started. Your first step is to cut four 60 inch lengths of your nylon cord. Okay. And then you're going to cut two 20 inch pieces of your accent cord. Now, if you notice, that the ends of your nylon rope are starting to fray. Just melt the ends. Take your embroidery hoop and pop out the center ring. You can actually use these to make two different planters if you want, but we only need one for now. Take that ring and thread your four long pieces of cord through it until they are equal lengths on each side. Now this is where you're going to want to hang this from a doorknob or I actually used some removable adhesive to put a hook right on my table. I'm going to hook the loop right around it and now we're going to learn our first knot. The first knot I'm going to teach you is called a gathering knot and this is going to make the nice tight coil at the top of our hanging planter. You want to leave about an inch or two of your cord pointing up and make a loop pointing down and take the excess cord and tightly wrap it around the pink cord. And you're going to want to wrap it five or six times around. Once you've wrapped it around enough, take your loose end and put it through the loop. Hold tight. And now take your top end and pull, and you'll see that the loop is going to pull that end right up into the coil, hiding the end of the knot. And now just trim the ends. Okay, now that we have our gathering knot in place, it's time to tie our first Josephine knot. We're going to take the top four cords and hold them in our hand, and put the bottom four cords off to the side. Now, the Josephine knot is a little tricky, so watch this to see exactly how to do it. Did you catch that? Maybe we should watch it one more time. I'll wait. All right, it took me a few tries to get the Josephine knot, but once you've got the hang of it, I promise you can whip through the rest of this project in no time. So you're going to want to come down about five or six inches from the top of your ring and make your first knot. Make sure you don't pull your Josephine knot too tight. So once we've got that nice and flat and straight, flip the ring over and make another knot in the same place with the bottom cords. Okay, now we have our top two knots, so we are going to take the two cords on the left-hand side and do another Josephine knot about two inches down from our previous knots. Okay, then we're gonna flip it over again, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once we have our four Josephine knots in place, you'll wanna take whatever vase or planter you want to use and kind of place it in there to figure out where we want to put our final gathering knot. Okay, so we're just gonna trim the excess and you are done. All you have to do now is kind of open up the knots, pop in whatever vase or planter you wanna use, and all we need are some flowers. Mm -hmm. 